Hi, this is Mrs. Dowd. I just did the phonics dance, did you? Now it's time for word work. If you don't have this sheet, you can simply use a blank piece of paper and write along with me. When we read words that are already written, you can read along. You don't have to write them. Today, we're going to continue reviewing what a prefix is. You take a root word, put the prefix before. Who's that knocking at the root word door? So you know a root word is a word in its simplest form. A prefix is something that we will attach to it at the beginning. It's funny because today we will be reviewing the prefix pre, which means before. So when we have a root word and we put those letters before it, it's before the word. Let's start with this. Can you write the word pre-cook? Pre-cook. All of our words today will start with pre. So I know I need P-R-E and cook. That's that k. What's a? Uh? It's the Bully Brothers. And it's got the k sound at the end, which we know is a K. First of all, I want a hunk and chunk. That hunk and chunk. If you look at pre-cook, what do you think the root word would be? It would be cook right here. Let's box in, now that we've bracketed the root word, let's box in that prefix. We always put a little doorknob right here. Pre-cook, that means I cooked it before. Your next word, let's write the word pre-own, pre-own. You know it starts with pre, P-R-E, which means before, own, O-W-O-N-O, -O -O O-W, let it snow, pre-own. Let's hunk and chunk that O-W. What's my root word? You can scream it out. It is the word own, so I own something. This means somebody owned it before me. It was pre-owned. Your next word, let's write the word pre-mix. Pre-mix. What does it start with? You know it's P-R-E. Mix, mm, here's that it dotted and then X. What do you think the root word is? I think you know it's mix, so we'll bracket it. Oh, let's box in pre right here, put our doorknob, pre-mix. I'm going to mix it before. I noticed right here I forgot to box in my pre. Let's go back and do that for pre-own. So pre-cook, I cooked it before. Pre-owned, somebody owned it before me. Pre-mixed, I mixed it before. Now let's write pre-teen. Pre-teen. You know I need that P-R-E, teen. Teen has my party bees. Teen. I want a hunk and chunk, the hunk and chunk. Teen is my root word. I'm going to box in pre, pre-teen. This is before you're a teenager. We say this, I'm a pre-teenager. I start with one, 10, 11, 12. They start with one. My teenage numbers all have one 10. 10, 11, and 12 all have one 10 as well, but we don't say 10 teen, 11 teen, or 12 teen. Pre-teenagers before the teenage numbers. All right, let's bracket the root word and box the prefix. Well, here I have a hunk and chunk. I'm going to bracket that root word, boxing in my prefix. This says what? See if you can read it. Preheat. So I was heating my oven before I started to cook. I like this one. Here's the hunk and chunk. Here's my root word. I'm going to box that P-R-E. See if you can read it preschool. So before you start elementary school, this is where you're going. Before you go to regular elementary, you go to preschool. How about right here? Hunk and chunk the hunk and chunk. Bracket that root word. There it is. Here is pre. It's my prefix. Prepay. What do you think it means? You paid before. And then here I've got a super silent E. There's my root word. Right here is pre, see if you can read it, pre-game. So before the game starts, it's pre-game. Pre-heat, preschool, 
prepay, pregame. Let's do an alphabetical order word wall fun today. So if I have the words preschool, preheat, and prepay, if I'm going to look these up in the dictionary and they're going to be in the order that tells me who's winning the race of the alphabet, I see here all of my P's have tied. That means to put these in alphabetical order, I need to go to the second letter. Look at this, all of my R's have tied. Now I have to go to the third letter. All of my E's have tied, which means right now my S is going to be racing my H and my P. I like to use my alphabet, so here I find the letter S, it's right here. Here's the H in preheat. This was the S in preschool. Here's prepay, that's a P. Now I'm going to start with the letter A. When I see the letter that's closest to A, I'm going to stop. H is beating the P and the S. It's closest to A. So I see that preheat would come in first. I keep going. Oh, that P, so I'm gonna cross this out. The P in prepay is beating that S in preschool. Prepay would come in second, and unfortunately, preschool would lose this race because the S is farthest away from the letter A. Preheat, prepay, preschool. All of that, I heated it before, I paid before, and this is before I went to my elementary school. All right, math mania today. If we take a look at this, I wanna put these numbers from smallest to highest. Here's my hundreds board right here. I have 190, so I have 90. I have 110. This is kind of like alphabetical order because all these numbers it's, are in the hundreds, only it's a numerical order. Here's just 100 and 150. Well, here's 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I know that number would have to come first. Huh, I'm just going to start adding. There's 110. Well, that's going to come second. Right there. Here's 120, 130, 140, 150. Oh, that's my next number right here which leaves me with 190 is my last number. Let's see if it's right. There's 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. So it's really, what are we doing? We are just counting in the tens, but we're starting from 100. So 100, 110, 150, 190. If you haven't divided before, it's pretty easy. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tulips. And I'm going to divide them into groups of three, which means I'm just circling groups of three. Here's a group of three right here. So I have ten tulips. I want to see how many groups of three I can make. One, two, three, I can make another group. About right here. One, two, three, I can make another group. I can't make another group of three. So if I have 10 tulips and I want to see how many groups of three I have, I divide them into three. I have one, two, three groups. And what's my remainder? A synonym for a remainder is a leftover. Right here, I have one leftover. So one, two, three groups and one leftover. Let's listen for key numbers and key words. Um, it's spring, hello birds. So glad you're migrating home. I see 11 birds flying in the sky. So here come my 11. This is gonna be my total number right here. I see 11 birds flying in the sky. So I'm gonna get 11. Here's a group of five, 10, and one more is 11. Summer cardinals and summer robins. How many of those birds could be robins and how many of those birds could be car cardinals? It says show two possible combinations and if you're speedy, show a third way. So I'm just gonna take these 11 ones. I'll need two groups today because I have cardinals and I have robins. Hmm, I could say this and put the rest of these here, which would give me 
one, two, three, four. So there are four cardinals and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those would be my robins. If I added that four plus seven up, that's going to give me that total of 11. Now I need a different combination. I can't say zero plus 11 because some of them are cardinals and some of them are robins, but I could put two right here and then the rest here, which would give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two. And I'm wondering if you can think of your own. What's another way I can find 11? My son is 11. What two add-ins can I put together to get there? Try it. And that's your word work and a little bit of math mania for today.